The game is a washi tape. Hello friends, this is Hedda. I don't know about you guys, but here in Norway it's really dark these days, which means more time spent inside. With the holidays coming up, I'm preparing myself to spend more time with my family and spending more time inside, and that means playing board games. I mean, every day of the year is a potential board game day for me because my boyfriend actually makes board games. In this video, I am going to show you a really cool game that he made that I think you can all appreciate, especially if you're into stationery, because the game is a washi tape. Just a heads up, this video is sponsored by Jordan Draper Games, which is my boyfriend's board game business. So obviously I can't claim to be unbiased, but I have been a part of this whole process of his making this business and growing it. And I feel like I know his games really well. So I feel quite confident when I say that this is a really fun and innovative game and I'm very excited to show you today. So I want to make a little spread in my journal first to play the game on and then I'll tell you a little bit about the game while I do that and then I'll go grab my boyfriend and we'll play a round of the game so that you can see how it works and of course there is a giveaway in this video where you can win your very own copy of the game and I'll talk more about that later in the video there are currently two washi games out called Tokyo Washi Cats and Tokyo Washi Cops. I thought I'd show you the one that was released first in this video, which is the cat game. In the game, you're a cat in Tokyo and you're trying to steal some fish and bring it back home. You only need pens in different colors to play, one for each player. And I think everyone here has a pen or a marker lying around, right? So the tape is the map and you're going to move in turn to grab fish from the other side of the map and make it back home with it. What makes this game so fun is that your cat has special moves that you can make use of like the super amazing jump or sneaking into the sewers and popping out at a different location. The game can play between two and six players and the tapes are produced by MT actually. So they're really high quality as well. I'm really happy that my boyfriend chose to work with MT because their washi tape is the best. Because the game is literally a roll of tape, you can bring it with you anywhere. You can play it in your journal like we're doing today or just place the tape directly onto the table or a piece of paper or anything else. You can play on the tray on your train or plane seat, on a bench in a park, at a cafe or even at school. You can even prepare some maps in your journal to bring out whenever you feel like it. It's also a relatively quick game, around 15 minutes for a two-player game. The game is $10 on jordandraper.com and I will of course put the link to his website in the description box below. Oh, and if you're wondering about where the rules are, you just scan the QR code on the game packaging to go to jordandraper.com and the Tokyo Washi Game page. And there's a link to a PDF there with the rules and the gameplay. And this means you don't need to keep track of a piece of paper unless, of course, you want to print it out and keep it. As you can see, I am making a little spread for the game, which has room for two strips of washi tape, because one board is two strips placed opposite each other. One person will play from one side of the board and one from the other. The map has squares that you move in, with obstacles that you can't pass, but also houses that you can kind of occupy on your way across the map. I decided to fill the spread with cat stickers because this is a game about cats and there weren't enough cats. Fun fact, uh, my boyfriend is actually allergic to cats, but he made a game about cats still, so I guess that means there's still hope for us to get a cat in the future. Okay, let's go see what he thinks. This is what I made. <laughs> Whoa, where did you get all those cat stickers? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to play? Yeah, this is the nicest board this tape's ever been on. 
I'm going to call each strip of tape a row and refer to the board as the map. Jordan is the red player and I am the purple player. The first thing each player wants to do is place two fish each on each side of the map. So that means each player will place four fish on the map meaning there will be eight fish in total. There has to be two spaces between fish, so you can't place them right next to each other. Next, each player puts down two cats, one on each side of the map. So there will be four cats in total on the map. Each cat will have to make it to the opposite side, grab a fish and make it back to the side it started on. The players take turn moving their cats through the city. Each round you can move one of your cats, and that cat can move one spot on the map, with a few exceptions. If you enter a building, you can cover the whole grey building with your colour, and on your next turn you can exit from any exit of that building. The map has several manholes in different colours, and each manhole is connected to the manhole of the same colour on the same row. If you enter the sewers through a manhole, you immediately move to the other manhole on the row with the same color. You cannot travel to the other row. You can also step over manholes without entering the sewers to block them for the other player. And that's because you can't cross another cat's path. The line that your cats are creating as they move act as a barrier for the opponent, but also for yourself. You can jump over your own line, which allows you to move more than one space, and you can use the super amazing cat jump to jump over the opponent's line, but you only have two special moves available to you throughout the game, so you have to choose carefully when or if you want to jump or enter the sewers. Jumping over your own line is not considered a special move, but to jump you have to make sure there's an empty space on the other side of the line for your cat to land on. And you can also only jump straight across, not diagonally. And these rules apply whether you are jumping over your own line or the opponent's line. Okay, so those are the main rules of the game. Jordan placed both of his cats towards the middle of the map while I placed mine far apart thinking less traffic in my area, less chance of getting blocked. Spoiler alert, it worked because I won. <laughs> Jordan did his best to cover as much of the middle of the map as possible by jumping over himself several times, so if I had placed my cat more towards the middle, it might have been a problem for me. I kind of focused on one cat first, the one that was closer to his cats, since I wanted to get to my first fish quickly. And that's pretty much how you play the game. My favorite things about this game is that it's silly and quick, it's easy to play wherever you are, there's no huge box that takes up your entire bookshelf, and it's still plenty of fun. And of course, it's about cats, so what is there not to like? The clips in the intro are of actual Tokyo cats that I met while living there, so now you know that too. <laughs> because my boyfriend is a cool cat, he agreed to give away a Tokyo Washi cat game to one of you guys. Well actually there will be two winners, one here on YouTube and one over on my Instagram. All you need to do to win here on YouTube is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and write a comment where you tell me where you would try to play this game. No location is too crazy as long as there is an even surface to place a tape on. For an extra chance to win you can head over to my Instagram and follow the instructions there as well. I'll announce the winner in about a week over on my community page, so make sure that you turn on post notifications so that you are alerted when I post something new. Now that you've seen how the game plays, I hope you gained some knowledge about this fun and different board game which is on a tape and not on a board. I think it's really fun and I would love to show you guys the other washi game Jordan has made as well. If you're interested in learning more about this game or any of the other board games he's made, head over to jordandraper.com where he has all of his games listed and all the information about them. And that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and perhaps you just found that one Christmas present you've been missing. I hope that you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!